Good morning, everyone. Mike Carey with Northwest Fishing Reports. I'm with Rob and Aaron and a group of guys that are going to go after salmon and chuck are today. We're at the confluence of the Snake and Salmon Rivers. We're with Gabe Castle of Snake Dancer Excursions. We're in God's country, and man, it's going to be a great day. So join us. We're going to go cast and blast. Let's go to it. Yeah. Long leaders, pencil head on the back, got eggs, two hooks, eggs are in the bait loop on the top hook, corky above it. Up there on the front, we just have yarn balls, the front doesn't have bait, they're just one hook with yarn balls, so um, those don't need bait, as long as you got yarn and your hook sharp, you're fishing. Um, just like drifting everywhere else, we're going to cast one at a time, pretty quick, get them in 45 degrees upstream, let the weight hit the bottom, drag the bottom. And it loads up, got a fish on, we'll get out of the way and we'll get it netted. Let them eat it, you'll know when they're on. All right, right against the bluff, you guys. That's really good. No, that's water, good. Just stay in. Fish on! Fish on! All right, Robbie. That was my pole, wasn't it? Oh, <laughs> oh. Fish still on. Oh, it's there. We pull up to... yeah, guys, get out of there. <laughs> gentlemen, you can reel up across. You can. So that's Just the slide above it. I don't know. Ten minutes. John. Put me right on. Put, that was a great cast, man. I was thinking at first yeah, he wanted, wanked you're it. You're welcome. Right? <laughs> so what have you been seeing, Clayton? Um, fall Chinook. Yesterday we got a couple that were in the 10, 12, 15 pound range. So this is looking like another good one. You got a high vis braid on here. Yeah, it helps. Help so you can see it, I can see it, boat driver can see it. Right. All good. Boat control really, boat control is really key to this technique. It is. It is, yep. It really is. There he is back there. Yeah. I'll follow you wherever the fish wants to go. There he is. Oh, oh, oh yeah. I don't want to hang out with you yet. <laughs> he saw the net. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, we got a fighter on our hands. We'll have an emergency situation. Where do you like to land? Yeah. Wherever, they're, <laughs> they're, wherever they're ready. Sorry. <laughs> I don't care. Right here. Right here is perfect. So you hear some stories about fish this far up. These guys are full of life, Clayton. Yeah, they are. Yeah, water's cold. They haven't been here very long. They're angry. For the first time this year, Idaho Fishing Game was um, able to get us a season to keep one wild one a day. So, That's it's your call. We can keep it. We get one a day, and then after that, uh, you gotta find some hatchery fish. I think it's bad luck to let go of the first fish of the day. I think we're gonna put this in the boat. It's yeah. legal. It's my first keeper this far up the snake. Got a fish. I think it's a salmon. Yeah. Or a perch. Oh, that'd be a good perch. Yeah, that'd be a good perch. 
The way it's fighting, that'd be quite the fish fry. <laughs> <laughs> he is not having a good Saturday. But I am. <laughs> Talk to that one. Yeah, that'd be a good video. Yeah, we'll do it. All right. Going in the rapids. The devil shoot! Turn on Bob Seeger. Yeah, he says turn on Bob Seeger. <laughs> what are you guys gonna do? Do you want to do our wait? Keep him on and go through the rapid like on purpose. Just get the fish. Okay. I think we're losing him. I think we're losing him. Awesome! Okay, come in. Way to go, huh? Yeah. Oh, a hatchery. Great. I'll let some line out of your reel there, partner. Gotcha. So 24 inches and over is considered an adult. You have to card 24 inches and under is a jack. You don't have to put it on your card. Yeah, in Idaho, it is legal to net the fish, bring him on the boat. Even if you're going to release him, you can get a quick picture, get him back in the water. Fishing is great. Yeah. Woo! Woo All right, now which rod was that? <laughs> or there's no bait on it. Rob always gets the first fish. Would you like the second one? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I think I will. Get her done, Mr. Carey. Get her done. I'll take my, I'll take my pole back. Yeah. Let's have you. Uh, let's have you cast it and then have it. Yeah. Get on it. Good, Mr. Carey. No, no, that's exactly what I did. That's <laughs> perfect. That's right. Just it out there. Huh? It's the hole. Don't get the habit of doing that. <laughs> Busy. While we're waiting for the next fish, just taking in the scenery is incredible. What a great place to go fishing. Clayton, you mentioned that the state of Idaho has changed the rules a little bit for this yep. year. Yep. Because of their federal NOAA permit, yep. we get to keep wilds. Yep, one a day. Yep, one a day. It's pretty cool. It's pretty special. Um, glad they did it. Right. It allows you to bring something home and eat. It kind of makes it more fun. You get to, sure. get to bunk a wild one. Yeah, you see a lot of uh, wild fish up here, right? We Not do. Tons of hatchery. Yeah, we do. Um, there's a lot of natural production, a lot of fish spawning up here in the fall. And then a lot of the fish that also get released out of hatcheries. I don't know what percentage, but a lot of them don't have adipose clips just because they want to have them back in the hatcheries. Thankfully, sure. we got enough to do it. Side drifting along, just waiting for that bait to get in front of a fish. That was not the fish. Let's uh, say hi to everyone, our guest anglers today. Hi, I'm John Grisco. Having a great time fishing here at Northwest Fishing Reports. Thank you for having me. Hey, I'm Bruce Barney. This is about the third time of this party, and Northwest Fishing Reports produces every time we've been out. Chad Casey. Uh, about a year and a half in the Northwest. Pretty psyched to be out here. Meadow here is very excited to uh, to chase some birds here. Something. 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 It's the wrong something. <laughs> Could be a jack. Could be a jack. Yeah. Uh, something for yeah. female something. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, perfect. All right. It was on me, but you were, I was hooked on you, and that's still good enough. Flip it out there. Sometimes less is more, what the heck. 
sucker. There it is. Now he's running upstream with it. We're gonna pull back to the top and hit that gravel bar again. We had a couple bites in there. Work. You want me to get him jumping? Yeah, make him jump. Here we can make him jump. Shot! Woo! Jack Salmon! A little bit of line out of here. Welcome to the boat, buddy. Clayton, tell us about the jacks. Um, they only spent one year in the ocean instead of two or three or maybe even four. So they went out, turned around, and came back sooner than the adults. Earlier we were talking about adipose fins, right, and being clipped. This one is missing its adipose fin, so maybe you could show them that real quick. Fresh looking jack. That's a good looking jack. Yep. So there's your little nub instead of a big old fin. In the orange and there's no limit on these. You can keep as many as you can catch. So this will be a good eater. Pretty. Hey everyone, day two of our epic adventure here on the snake Chad. cast and blasting with yep. snake dancer excursion. We've got Chad back on the boat. Yesterday we had a little mishap with this dog meadow uh, having to do with some salmon eggs and hooks. Yep. Chad, how's your dog doing? Uh, all reports from when we had cell phone service are that meadow is doing well. She's with my fiance in Coeur d'Alene. She's eating a lot of food and we're hoping that the hooks are gonna pass. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. It's most important, you know, we want to take, we want to go fishing, and have fun hunting, but got to take care of the dogs. That's most in, important. Indeed. We're in a really gorgeous, pretty magical place here. And I'm, I'm glad to be back on the trip. We're glad to have you back yeah. with us. I see the guys are getting their rods and reels out going after salmon. I guess we should do the same. Let's do that. All right, let's go fishing. Thanks guys. Let's 
So in this sort of situation, yeah. you're doing great. Mm -hmm. Ooh, she's running. Whoa. You can pull up a little bit harder. Okay. And then as you let your rod down slow, reel. Okay. Let your rod down slow and reel. And then you can pull a little bit harder, stop reeling, pull a little bit harder. Oh. Sweetheart, come on! Ah, Jesus, coming out. Real as you lower your rod a little bit. Light it with the rod. A bit of oh man, out of your reel, we're coming in the boat. All right, Woo. here it is. Another about 10 pounder. Woo. Yeah, no nookie like Chinooky, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Robbie. Small size four. Grandma got two hooks right in the corner of the mouth. Just hey, like girl. that, they're off. Yeah. Keep away from the boat. Out of the way. Whoa, he's a jumper. <laughs> we got Jack Salmon on, buddy. You okay? Don't get any twisties, please. Don't get me. It was in the divot. He got a little jumpy. Yeah, I like it. Way to go, Chad! Fish on! A salmon. A jack a We're uh, We're getting some bites in there. Oh, yeah, we are. Swing your rod to the right. Warm, Clayton. Swing your rod to the right a little bit. Bring him up. Nice and gentle. Bring him up. Bring him up. All right. Woo. Now let some line out of your reel, please. Ow. What's that? Oh, pull yeah. some line out of your reel. Oh. You can pull or you can open it. Uh, Coming in. Salmon. First snake river salmon. First, First salmon. salmon. Oh, oh, you gotta eat the heart. No. Yeah? Oh, you gotta, you gotta the suck heart. the eyeballs out. Do it. One at a time. All right. <laughs> Kiss it. Give it a job, buddy. It's awesome. Thank you. I'll fill up the frying pan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. There it is. Yeah, we gotta record this. Ooh. Hey. Give him a kiss. Kiss him on the nose. There you go. It's a good looking fish. That yeah, is good. Salmon. Hey. It's round. a real true fish. It's like legit. Legit. Legit, legit. legit man. I People it. do it's this. It's sushi. Yep. It's like sashimi. I need to Oh, it's actually still beating. I know. Should I chew it or just swallow it? It's your call, dude. Fish on! Shot. You're building. Ooh. Acting like not a salmon. No. What do you got there? We're doubled up on something. We might we might have one of something. Way to go, Bruce. Bruce! Yeah. Bruce! Hook up! Oh, it's waking up! All right. The fish is awake right. anyway. <laughs> I'm getting there. 
<laughs> Get down. Oh, don't do that. I don't like the way on the surface. There we go. Stay down. Uh -oh. Hey, oh. go to the white water with it. A little more pressure. A little more pressure. Ah, yeah. Woo! Coming in the boat. Wow, what a good one. What a good one. What a good one. Way to go, man. Good work. Oh, you said that was a Holy test. Holy shit. That's his. The other one was. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow. Fish of the year. Man, that is really a beauty. Yesterday, you thought you caught the biggest fish you ever caught in fresh water. This is a, a new you, big. I think you did the it new today. Mr. Big, the new Mr. Big. <laughs> I fixed two hands. I'm still shaking. Time to uh, notch and take record of the salmon that I caught. The wild salmon, 922 zero, one zero C. So that we're doing it all right, and when the warden checks, we'll be in good order now. Right off the water, uh, see them blackberries? Yeah. See that first one holder, it's kind of shaped like this. Yeah. Yeah. See what's on top of it? It's all a chucker. That's all chucker. That's all birds on top of that boulder right there. Right below the, right below the berries. Can you see them? That's a really good one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't see them. Oh, shit. Okay, I see them. Take a shot. <laughs> Shit, they're moving into the black We're gonna let the dog go. Don't shoot the dog. Hey. All right, don't shoot the dog. Right. There's a shot. Get it. Get it. Then I just probably should just quit. You had to have had at least one go past the boat. Yeah. You got one. You dropped one. In the water. Yeah, somewhere. Oh, one landed in the water. Yeah. I think so. And one, one landed on the ground up there. Yeah, one landed on the ground right up on the bank, and then one went down cripple right here, and I imagine that's what Allie's doing. So you guys reloaded and looking? I'm reloading. I got no more shells. 
So, should I walk down this way? I'll go There's that. Gunpowder. Did you go that way? I didn't see him. More went that way. If you want to take a hike, I'd hike that way. I can go that way. Allie, bring it here. Come on. Oh, good girl. I think she found it. Oh, maybe she didn't. I just got a signal. It was a moving one. I seen one. She was right on its ass. You good to Bring it here, Allie. Come on, Allie. Good girl. Oh, that girl. girl. Come on, Allie. Come on. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Come on, Allie. Allie, come on. Allie, come. Get up. Oh, yeah, there good we go. Girl. Good girl. Good girl. Nice. So what do we got there, Gabe? We got a chucker. Best eating bird there is right here. Mm -hmm. Those are better than quail, better than anything. They are so good. Seeing any birds? I saw a lot of birds. <laughs> Sweetie pie here got two of them. Got feathers in your mouth, don't you? She's a good girl. Right, we are shooting Chakar. <laughs> Chakar goes with a fine red blend wine. Aaron and I got our first chuckers today here on the Snake River with Snake Dancer Excursions. There was a pile of about 10 of the guys. They came up, flew away, and we got a couple of them. Good shooting, Aaron. The dog did all the work. <laughs> We're gonna get back in the boat and go find some more for the other hunters. Look at this fish that Aaron just caught. It's a doozy. It's a doozy. Nice bass. Mike walked up and thought he'd take it, take it from me like he caught it, but that's just not happening on my watch. Yep, it's a doozy. You know, it's pretty cool though, Gabe. You got a lot of options here. You do have a lot of options. You got steelhead, you got salmon, you got bass, you got sturgeon, you got catfish, you got chucker. Well, you got it all. Whatever. Man, right? What's left? So you'll do these cast and blast trips. Today's opening day. Yep. But you do it for how long or? Tell us a bit about the season. We will have shotguns on the boat most of the winter till the end of the season. And uh, when we see chucker or hear chucker, we'll do a chucker hunt um, or waterfowl too. We can do that also. So, yeah. Just part of the deal when they come up with you going after whatever, right? Yep. Yeah, most of the guys bring their shotguns and they do, do chucker hunting and do waterfowl and do fishing and do it all. Back out here hunting a little bit. We had an emergency situation with Chad's animal. We got it in. It involved some fishing hooks. Definitely not appropriate for TV. <laughs> the animal's okay though. Um, and Chad's addressing that. So it took us off the water a little bit. We're back out here picking it up, looking for some chucker. Way past the salmon snake confluence. We're up quite a bit and uh, we'll see what we can do here. Day one, Snake Dancers Excursions, Chucker, Salmon and Steelhead Casting Blast. Oh. 
We're back out on the water after taking a break to deal with Chad and Meadow. Uh, we had a little bit of a medical emergency this morning. Took some time out from the chucker hunting and uh, we're hitting the confluence again. A couple drifts in, catfish. I guess we could keep it. We, we could fillet it out, we could have fried catfish. That sounds like a meal to me, I'll eat it. Yeah. All right. Cameraman says yes. You like catfish? I like catfish. Deep fry that up. Good stuff. They're way up there, you hear them? I ain't going up that stuff. That one. Right See, there's one, one right first? on top. Yeah. And then around to the left. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Give you a heartburn. That was amazing. Don, you earned that shot. <laughs> yeah. We're up here a long ways. This was a big hike, well worth it. Cast in, that's a blast right there. That's quite the blast. Woo! They hung in there with us. Right Come now, on. let's go. Let's go, time to go. Gabe, we've got a couple hunters on the shore. We're drifting down, see if we can't get a couple more chucker before the end of the day. What's required for out-of-state anglers for this uh, chucker hunting? Um, you just have to have a Idaho hunting license. Okay. And uh, that's about it. You don't have to have hunter's orange, which it's smart to wear hunter's orange, but sure. it's not required. And uh, and you can shoot all, you can shoot eight chucker a day. Okay. So. And they're considered upland game birds? Yeah, they're upland right? bird. Yeah. Okay, an upland bird. Yeah. All right. Best eating bird there is. They're awesome. Right on. So White meat. It's so, in, like a Hans dark meat, chucker are white meated, but they're really good. Yeah. I'm going to eat one soon. <laughs> so, uh, you offer these trips from opening day until full time steelhead or until the end of the season? How until the end of the you? season. Yeah. Okay. So, the season runs what? Uh, from the third weekend of September, usually. Until the end of the end of the year. So everybody, always check your regulations. Out of state, I think uh, coming from Washington, I was able to get a license, no problem. That's a little extra fee. Yeah. Uh, but you know, that's, you get a three day. Yeah, we got yeah. a three day. So it's uh, yeah. the norm and a fun little addition to our to our trip down here. Yeah, it's fun. Not again. Yeah. <laughs> you got good eyes. <laughs> So I think there's one down here too, it's all one down there. Oh, oh yeah, I see him. Where? Yep. Up that, up that oh, there's one. Yep, there's, I see three right now. Yeah. Four, five, five, six, a whole shit ton actually. I'd send two guys to there, go that way and right there, and it's gonna be, I mean, this is gonna be kind of a race. We gotta get them moving or, okay. or we're not gonna get them. Okay, three and three. Here it is. We got us a chucker. Pretty fun. We flushed some. Uh, everybody got some shots off. 
Possibility, I got it. I said. Hey, we've come to the end of a really epic weekend of cast and blast here. We're visiting with Gabe Castle of Snake Dancer Excursions. Gabe, pretty amazing. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Get to the get to the Salmon River this time of year and catch a few salmon, and then uh, chuck her just a bonus for us. Go chuck her hunting for a few hours and kill some birds, and then go back in the afternoon catch a few more salmon. It's an awesome day. I mean, I can't think of a better way of spending a weekend and the fishing was excellent i yep. gotta say we caught a good seven eight uh, chinook easy some jacks oh, catfish yeah. sturgeon bass yeah we got it all every time we stopped yeah the chuckers were pretty good action too if i was yeah. a better sh uh, if i was a better shoot we'd probably have more but we got uh, a lot of rain the last couple of days so that's the chucker don't have to come down for water so they're hanging up a little bit higher so we would have got more birds if it wouldn't have rained but oh well Yep. That's good for the chucker. Yeah. And, they, and these uh, Chinook, they cut pretty good too, don't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. Right now, this time of year, they're good. Yeah, it'll be red meat. Yep. We've seen, seen pictures. So, well, if guys uh, want to come out and have a cast and blast adventure of their own, how do they get hold of you? Snakedancerexcursions.com or 800 234 1941. That's about it here from the Snake River. So, we'll see you guys on the water and online.